Hello, I'm Janine Dorothy. I work for the Maryland Department of Agriculture. I'm an entomologist with the mosquito control section. And today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about what you can do to get rid of mosquitoes in your yard. Uh, our program will take care of things like ruts, puddles, ditches, stormwater ponds. We, uh, in most areas, we treat those areas. But there's a mosquito that came into the United States in 1985 and into Maryland by about 87. And this mosquito is probably our biggest pest at this point all over the state. And it's very, very different in its habits than our native mosquitoes. So we, we want to talk a little bit about that. This mosquito is called the Asian tiger mosquito. It tends to be very small, but can also be sort of normal size. It's very dark black with white stripes. So it looks different than most of our native mosquitoes, which are brown to yellowish brown. Its habits are very different. It's out mainly during the day, as opposed to our normal mosquitoes, which are out at dawn and dusk. So if you're out gardening during the day, this is the one that's gonna be bothering you for the most part. Uh, it will follow you into your house. That's another way to tell if you have tiger mosquitoes. And it breeds in very different places than our native species. It will never breed in ruts and puddles, ditches, uh, stormwater ponds, swamps, things like that. It breeds in its native habitat, which is a hole in a tree where a branch is broken off and it collects water, or a bamboo shoot, which has broken off and it collects a little bit of water where the node is on that shoot. So it's used to very small areas and it's moved out into every man-made container that you can possibly think of. So look through your yards and you're gonna be looking for things like a tarp over equipment that doesn't fit properly. It'll curve up at the end, it'll hold water there, or if it has puddles on the top, uh, you're looking for old tires, which are how they got into this country. Old tires can be very, very excellent mosquito breeding areas. Uh, buckets, pails, uh, water bottles, uh, any, any sort of plastic container that might be hanging out in your yard. Trash cans, uh, if you've got a trash can that doesn't have a lid on it, that trash can will collect water. The lid, if it's sitting next to it upright, will also collect water. Recycle bins, whether you have them upright or upside down, will collect water in the corners or in the rim around that. Uh, kids plastic toys, any kids plastic toys will hold a little bit of water. Plastic uh, chairs, plastic tables, if you turn them upside down to keep them from getting dirty, all of those little nooks in the plastic underneath will, will hold water. Uh, wheelbarrow, if, you, if it's upright and you don't store it properly, either upside down or on its end, will collect a lot of water. Uh, my personal pet peeve of the uh, container breeding world is this, black flexible drain pipe. This stuff, a lot of people have this, and you, you put it from your downspout out into your yard so it gets the water away from your house. However, with each of these little corrugations that this thing has, each one will hold enough water to support mosquito larvae. So you're breeding in every one of these little, contain in every one of these little corrugations. Um, if you have this, I would recommend you get rid of it and use straight PVC pipe to get the water away from your house. If you can't do that and you have to keep this, what you can do is take flexible screening or an old pair of pantyhose that doesn't have holes in it, put it over the end, either rubber band it on or hot glue it on so that mosquitoes cannot fly in or out of that, of that tube. And then at the other end, what you want to do is make sure you have the fitting that connects directly to the downspout so there's no room around there for the mosquito to get in.